guys, welcome to the Nightmare Fight Against Omega Weapon. This for Omega Dive, which is one of the best combat abilities, which are 6 star, so... I expect a lot of people to be honing that ability once you get it. This one I have read up a little bit on, not fully, but I kind of get the gist of things. Where the second phase is obviously the most important, first one's just going all out, third one's going all out. Second phase you need... Well, the two orbs that are going to appear, one green one, one red one. If you kill the green one, then it heals your party members. If you kill the red one, then it um, damages Omega Weapon. But the thing is, your bottom two characters have to kill the bottom orb. The top two characters have to kill the top orb. The middle character has to hit the boss. You only can do it that way, or else the orbs will explode, and then you're pretty much dead. So, let's try it out. Like I said, not a blind playthrough, just doing this for fun, really. Uh, and I think the actual... I do like blind playthroughs, but the thing is it takes a lot of time to do it, that's why. Uh, okay, defeat him without using black magic, defeat him without using summon magic, and before he uses nightmare, should be fine. This is my party here, I'm just gonna have fun with a lot of life siphons. Of course, if you don't have enough soul breaks, you have to use powerful abilities such as full charge and stuff like that. So it is kind of unfortunate, but it is, you need as much damage as possible before he uses the nightmare attack. I am going to bring Shout, of course, because that's going to benefit me the best. I am not bringing a Stella, I'm bringing Tyro, just because I feel like doing it like a full synergy party. I don't know why he's in the front row, I'm just putting everyone in the front row, just in case everyone says it. It looks all nice. I'm, it's all like symmetrical and stuff, so... Helps me relax, you know? Helps me relax my OCD. <laughs> um, Alright, I don't know if I have OCD, but I'm kind of like one of those guys, you know, that wants everything really neat. <laughs> okay, let's put on two. Zell's in the center, but the problem is, because he can only hit the boss, I only can use um, different beats, because that's the only one of his abilities which does everything to one target instead of fucking everything at once and Keeper Storm is mainly just for the magic blink unfortunately so it's not that great I'm just gonna keep using Life Siphon from now not really a big deal at the moment because I need to kill the orbs as soon as possible so this one I can kind of take my time a little bit but I do want to buff my characters at the same time and then again Tyre can actually hit him with breaks and stuff. Not for the break component because he's obviously null to breaks, but just for damage. Alright, just life siphon. I don't think I need a heal, so I'll use Book of Despair. I don't think he'll counter any of this stuff. Nightmare Tsunami, of course, it's gonna miss. Oh, he's death by community. Alright. Still quite a bit of damage by Tyro, nicely done. And of course I'm going to save Zell's abilities for the actual boss in the second phase of, um, because I need as much damage out as possible. Okay, this gives me the Onion Knight buff. We call it the Onion Knight buff now. I'll do a little bit of healing now because I'm going to take a lot of damage. And I'm pretty scared at the moment actually because I don't have a Medica. Almost done. Vengeance. Okay, so he's going to regenerate, I guess. Because we have to kill him three times, I believe. Alright, so we need to kill the top one as soon as possible to gain some heals. Alright, this one's a little, a little bit iffy. Because Cypher's actually going to attack the center one, I think. Yep. Am I screwed? Not at the moment. Okay. I'm going to use Strange Bedfellow, or whatever it's called. He hits this one. Gets me Guts, which is awesome. I don't know how much damage this is going to do, but I'm hoping it'll at least kill the orb to heal me up. Is it enough? Yeah, it is. How much HP does the orb have? I don't know. Doesn't actually say. Okay. So the thing is with the boss, he mainly does AoE magic attacks, so you probably figured that out already. And the orbs can only really self-destruct or damage and or heal us. 
All right, so I'm just gonna keep life siphoning. I'm going to definitely cure because I'm so worried that I'm just gonna die now. At least I have guts. Something to lay my back on. Unfortunately, no heal orbs, so I can't actually heal. Oh, damn it, this is really tough actually. All right, I've got a green one. Still very worrying though, because I do not have a heal. Frost charge is probably the way to go here. Oh, this is that one. Okay. This is worrying, ow. You can imagine how much easier it will be with like constant medicates for this. Different beats. I bet you guys thought I would screw up there. Okay. I'll do Icy Revenge because Snow is relatively low on HP. Ugh. Already using Guts. This gives me more critical hit chance, for Zell at least, not to everyone else. I can actually use Entrench. A bit worrying for everyone else though. Come on, finish him. Yep, got it. Give me some heals. Alright, and Cypher has to fucking kill this guy as well. I'll probably redo the Guts. Even though we only used one of it. Pretty sure this is just the one target, not to random. Yep. Is it gonna finish him? Yes, just. You know what? I'm gonna use Entrench. It's fine. Ow. I don't think Zell's gonna die anytime soon. Just life siphon here. I'm really worried that I'm not killing it fast enough. Looks like Snow is doing the majority of the damage, but at least this gives me critical up. I'm just going to use Keeper's Tome. This is actually going to help a little bit to reflect the damage. Oh shit, he used Nightmare Wave Cannon, I'm just dead. Was it Nightmare Wave Cannon? Before he used the Nightmare Wave Cannon? No. Before I use Omega Dive. <laughs> I better use Icy Revenge. <laughs> oh, the Magic Blink is definitely going to help me out. Alright, decent heals now. And this is the Magic Blink, which is definitely going to help us. At least survive for one more turn. Zell, you need to do more damage, or else I'm just fucked. Oh, really? That was so close. <laughs> that was so close as well. I just need to heal. Different beat. I wish that was instant. Alright, this should give us a little bit of a heal. Very scary though. Very scary. No, attack this one. Oh shit, is this gonna actually work? Or is he gonna target the boss automatically? I'm really scared, to be honest. I'm pretty close. Oh, come on, launcher? Ow. Flex a little bit of damage. Still pretty good damage by Zell, but this is going to be really close. I'm just going to life bane now. Ah, oh, shit. Do not do anything, please, to me. Oh, shit. Should I just... Yeah, fuck it. Snow, just do your... Here we go. Delta attack? What the hell is this? Ooh, ouch. And Cypher. Don't know what you're going to do. Life bane. I'm just going to wait for Gilgamesh's turn. This gives, this gives me guts. 
And I think Gilgamesh should be able to kill this guy. Does that mean I got it? Come on. Dude, focusing energy. Oh, shit. Oh, what? I was so close. I was so close. We have cuts anyway, but it's like I don't get all the medals then. Oh, man. Look, I was one. This is fucking bullshit. All right, I'm going to redo it. Pretty much same thing again, though. All right, let's do this again. I'm going to use Strange Bedfellow on Omega Weapon, just to check if nothing will happen. With two of the orbs up. I'm really hoping they won't explode on me. Pretty cool, nice. Is that it? And this will damage him? Bam! Done! Right? Vengeance. Alright, looks like the final stage. I need to use, uh, Shout again. And now I can use Duelist, finally. And we all have Guts as well, so that's good. I definitely need to use Shout again. Nightmare Holy. Do not kill me. That's a lot of damage back at him, though. Chaucer's Knight. Alright, let's do this shit. I don't think this will kill him. Cool. Alright, at least we have haste in the attack buff. So now, let's use Duelist when ready. Should I use Entrench? Should I really use Entrench? Nah. We'll see what he does next. If he, like, kills one character, then I can use Here We Go. I can use Here We Go regardless right now. Just in case I don't have enough damage. I don't think he'll kill Cypher. And even if he does, then he'll do it, like, right now. So we'll see. Wow. I did not expect that damage. At least he has a drain, though. Here's my guts again. This is kind of scary, though. Almost there, almost there, almost there. We just need to survive, like, a couple more attacks, and we're fine. Gimme. Nightmare Forsaken. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Go! Duelist, go! Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> oh man, Guts the savior. Is this the final phase? I really hope so. Thank God I put Snow on my team. But yeah, Snow should have been in the center. He done a lot more damage than Zell in the second phase because, yeah, like I said, I couldn't use Duelist. I thought Zell would still output the most damage because I dived him like to the max. But apparently not. Hopefully I got all the medals. I don't see why I wouldn't. Yes! Okay, good. That was a little bit of a tough one, but we got that. Guts was definitely the savior of this fight, but if you have a lot, a lot of damage, then you could just breeze through this fight. That's it. What's this? What's going on? Downloading. It's gonna be another part of the story. Exciting stuff. I was a little bit nervous for this, to be honest. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm definitely not skipping this. Palmet looking a little bit pissed off. The records within the nightmare awaken, revealing a new page of our tale. It's 
pyro in the center there? What's that glowing stone? It must be another crystallized memory, Kupo, but I've never seen a crystal like this before. What? You mean there are records records even you don't know about, Dr. Mog? Let me take a closer look. Don't touch it! The slightest mishandling could have disastrous results, Kupo. Well, sorry, it's just I feel like it's calling to me somehow. Yes, I sense a great power in this crystal, like it could swallow us whole, Kupo. Sounds sexy. Which is precisely why I must take the time to study it properly. Got it, Dr. Mog. Sounds like this could take a little while, huh? I'll let you know what I find as soon as there's something to report. It did feel as though it was calling out to us. And that's it. For now it rests. And that's it! That's the end of the story for now in the Nightmare Dungeons. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fight, and I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in your endeavors.